two men, two nurses from San Diego are being investigated after they uh, allegedly engaged in sex acts with a 98-year-old stroke patient. Now, uh, this elderly woman had uh, hired these two men and, and was paying them $1,300 a day uh, to take care of her after she suffered from a stroke. Uh, the stroke left her paralyzed. That's a lot, 1300 a day? It's very expensive. XETV has a local news report on this. I want to warn you guys, this is a very, very graphic video because it shows you uh, the surveillance that got these two guys caught. So warning ahead of time. With that said, let's take a look. Watch as the male nurse on the left holds the patient's hand while the other man rubs his penis. Later, one man undoes his drawstring and appears to lean his crotch onto the woman's hand. He then bends down and kisses her. We blurred the patient's face to protect her privacy. I myself couldn't believe it. Elder Abuse I mean. Attorney William Berman represents the family. In this case, this family was paying $55 an hour, over $1,300 a day, and to have this happen in their own home was in its greatest sense a, a violation of dignity, a respect, and trust. And then they, one of the guys looked like he was on his knees with the other guy. Did, did, were they doing something with each other too? Yeah, one of them was stroking the other guy's penis. Then while why, why did they want him to have anything to do with her? I, I, I don't know. I don't understand what's going Why would you do anything like that, period? But it, just to give you guys a little more information, this woman suffered a stroke. Like, she's mentally there, but she can't physically move. Oh, that's even worse because yeah. she, can, she knows what's happening, but yeah. she can't get these sons of bitches to stop. The guys who are supposed to be taking care of her. She's 98. I mean, first of all, I don't care how old she is. What's the matter with you, right? Uh, but at least, you know, I just can't see any motivation. I just, it, not only are you repugnant and immoral and evil, et cetera, but you're also weird. I mean, is, is it weird for me to weird, be weirded out by what you, they're doing? You definitely have psychological issues, okay? Right. If you are sexually uh, assaulting a 98-year-old stroke patient, you have psychological issues. And that's the kind of thing that, that scares me. You know, I know that I'm gonna take care of my parents when they get old, like there's no way in hell that I would put them in any kind of facility, right? But Think about all the people who don't have that luxury, people that really have to work to feed their own families and stuff, and they don't have an option. You see stories like this, and it scares the hell out of you. And I don't hey, mean you to don't be know. You don't, you don't know what your financial situation is going to be, man. I mean, I it, it's, it's a lot of money, obviously. It's a lot of money to even take care of them. And what are you going to do? You've got to hire somebody if you're working, et cetera. And at some point, you've got to trust people. And you worry about it with your kids. And now apparently you got to worry about it with your parents because there's a freaks in the world. There's there's a really big problem with sexual abuse in this country. I mean, we've been doing stories on sexual abuse nonstop, especially after Jerry Sandusky. I feel like there's been like an explosion of these stories. There's a real big problem uh, with men in this country <laughs> and in all countries. And it, it, look, of course not all men. Of course not a majority of men, right? But. Some dudes are just incredibly strange and will stop at nothing to satisfy their incredibly strange appetites. So these guys are apparently pansexual, they're into women, men, you know, young people, old people, people who are conscious, people who aren't conscious, and once a man gets those urges, apparently there's no stopping him. And if you're the, uh, the kids of that mom, oof, what are you? Man, to say I'd be angry is uh, understating it in the most massive way.